Nada de gojo. Every time you swipe your phone, send an email, or open your laptop, you're using something that exists today because of a Filipino. One of the greatest minds behind modern computing didn't come from Silicon Valley or New York. He came from a humble barrio in Cagayan Valley, Philippines. This is the story of Diostado Dado Banatao, a boy who walked barefoot to school had no electricity at home, and yet would grow up to help build the digital world. Born in the small town of Malabac in Iguig, Cagayan, Dado's early life was simple and hard. His father was a rice farmer, and his mother was a housekeeper. But even then, young Dado was fascinated by how things worked. He wasn't just curious, he was determined. He graduated as an electrical engineer from the Mapua Institute of Technology, and pursued bigger dreams in the United States. At Stanford University, surrounded by some of the brightest minds in tech, Dotto studied electrical engineering and computer science. But he wasn't content with just learning. He wanted to create. He began his career as a design engineer at National Semiconductor and later worked at companies like Intersil and Commodore, where he developed early computer systems. But it was when he struck out on his own that he truly made history. In 1984, he co-founded Mostron, where he developed a revolutionary chipset that reduced the components needed for a computer motherboard from over 100 to just a few, slashing costs and boosting efficiency. This innovation laid the groundwork for chips and technologies, the first fabless semiconductor company in Silicon Valley, which he co-founded in 1985. It was here that he developed the first single-chip graphical user interface, GUI Accelerator, a technology that allowed computers to render graphics faster and more efficiently. This helped bring color graphics and user-friendly interfaces to PCs, basically everything that makes modern computing visual and usable today. In 1996, Intel acquired chips and technologies. That acquisition wasn't just a financial win. It was a technological leap. Intel absorbed Banatao's innovations into their chipsets, particularly in integrating graphics and logic functions. The foundations laid by Banatao's work in single-chip architectures and GUI acceleration are still embedded in the Intel chipset architecture today. The way your laptop balances processing speed with display performance? That's part of Banatao's legacy. His work helped shape the Intel Graphics Media Accelerator and later Intel's integrated graphics solutions used in millions of computers worldwide. Even now, engineers at Intel build on the very breakthroughs that Dado and his team pioneered decades ago. But Dado didn't stop innovating. He founded another company, S3 Graphics, which was a pioneer in the 3D graphics acceleration market. If you've ever played a 3D video game or used a device with smooth animations and rendering, you've seen the ripple effects of what S3 began. Banatao was also one of the early adopters of the fabless business model, where design and innovation were prioritized and chip manufacturing was outsourced, an approach that transformed how tech companies operate worldwide. He became a billionaire, not from inheritance or luck, but from pure innovation. But even with all his success, Dotto never forgot where he came from. He established the PhilDev Foundation, a nonprofit focused on nurturing technology, entrepreneurship, and innovation in the Philippines. Through scholarships, tech hubs, and mentoring, Dotto has helped thousands of young Filipinos access opportunities in science and engineering. He believes the Philippines can become a hub of innovation if given the right push. Today, Dado Bonatau holds over 30 patents and continues to influence the tech world. He's been called the Bill Gates or Steve Jobs of the Philippines, but he's really in a league of his own. His innovations are still inside millions of computers, laptops, and even mobile devices we use every day. His story proves that genius can come from anywhere, 
even from a dusty path in rural Cagayan. You don't need privilege to change the world, just vision, persistence, and the courage to dream big. So the next time you open your laptop or scroll through your phone, remember the quiet Filipino genius whose work made it possible, Diosdado Banatao. He didn't just invent chips, he invented the future, and he's not done yet. If this story sparked your pride, inspired your mind, or made you say, wow, Pinoy Palayon, then do something legendary too. Smash that like button. Hit subscribe so you won't miss more amazing stories like this. And tap that notification bell, so the next time we upload, you'll be the first to know, just like how Dotto was always first to innovate. Because this isn't just history, this is Filipino brilliance, and you're part of the next chapter.